Okay, so we're going to make a pivot table, and the way we're going to do that, I just hit Control Home, went all the way up, and we're going to select all of this. I believe that we need the heading, so several of you out there have said that you enjoy watching me make mistakes, so we're just going to make them together. I, not in a mean way, just that you like to know that other people make the same mistakes. Um, insert, pivot table, table range is rentals. We're going to say new worksheet, say OK. Okay, so now we have a new worksheet, and look at all those little boxes that we have over there. So we want to rename the worksheet monthly rentals, so click down here, and let's double click on the word, monthly rentals, and then we want to select rental date, yeah, okay, great. Okay, so we, because this is renter, and rental dates, we need to check on those. Okay, and we're going to need to group. You need to do rental dollars. Now, if yours is anything like mine, um, yours has rental fee is the same thing. I don't know why my solution says rental dollars, but anyway, rental fee works. We've entered the pivot chart, and we want to... Click rental fee, renters, and rental date, I believe. And then it looks nothing like anything any of us have ever seen, but we want to follow the directions. It says select any rental date. So like here, I'm going to click on August. And then if you look up here, you see that the pivot table tools is highlighted. Click on analyze. Go to group field. Dialog box comes up. Select months. Hit OK. Okay, then you want to move things around. You want to put, because this is rows, we want to put values over here. And then we want to put, leave dates there and put renters over here because we're going to count the renters. Look at that. Woohoo! And then we want to change these titles. So put, um, um, okay, so we need, we need a sum here because we're looking for total rental fees. So all we have to do is go over here to, Count of rental fees, pull this down, hit value field settings, and it says sum. Yay! So now we've got sum of rental fees, so we can just say um, total rental fees or something. Okay. Okay, so we have to change these manually. First of all, we're going to delete this blank row if you got one. Just delete it. We can't change this part of the pivot table. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that. I'm going to get rid of this title. Whoops. Well, I know we can go design. Hmm. Hmm. So, you, I'm sorry, everybody, you just have to do it up here. So click on this, and you just go up here. So then we'd say um, something like this. Um, number of renters. Okay. And then here we're going to say um, total rent or something like that. Um, Total rent, that works for me. Um, and then this, if you go like that and just go and delete it, you can. And same thing here. And you can just delete it manually up here. I'm not sure why it showed up, but I don't know that it matters. Okay, and just format this in accounting as we do. And oh. Okay, so if we take this, whoops, let's see, maybe if we do it like this. Ah, okay. Oh, I can't enter a null value, it's telling me. Um, I don't even know what to say about that. I'm going to enter space and see what happens. That works. Okay, that's what I'm doing. So finish this by putting it in an accounting format, and we're done. If you have any questions, you guys have my phone number. Good luck.